But we want to tell you about our great sponsors who are amazing and we absolutely love. And that is um, Ed Prey, the real estate. was out with Ed and the team at uh, the Furry Scurry at Wash Park. What an amazing group of people they are. Selling and buying a home is a scary process. Speak Canadian here for a second. And nobody makes you more comfortable with it than Ed Prather and his team. Check them out at edprather.com. There's a reason why they're the number one most trusted team in real estate in Colorado. I trust them. I couldn't give a stronger endorsement for something so gargantuan in your life. edprather.com. And our great friends, um, Andon and Rosa, have put together this amazing company. I, You know, I'll be showing off the other... Uh, packets it's been all the um, pizza seasoning but there's many different packets that they have they sell in two two packs and four packs salt free sugar free and they are environmentally friendly with their packaging so it's flavor in plastics out it is available at amazon.com i'd love to hear your reviews of what you think amazon.com use the code 20 playoffs for 20 percent off they're the absolute best. About last night, D-Max Mac, let's get to your comments. And we start with Andon. All right, Andon, good to see you, brother. Reggie Murray, don't have that inspiring take. No shit. <laughs> let's fucking go. Go all out leadership attitude, and that's okay. But as fans feel, we need that in the players sometime. I get it. I mean, you know. When the best thing about your motivation is I'm I'm going to talk crap to my friends in the off season, it's like, okay, hey, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But let's face it, you know, it's probably not as strong. Well, we'll see, right? We'll see. We are in the immortal worlds of Gary Kubiak fixing to find out. Hate to say it, but it feels like Timberwolves in six, unless the Nuggets come out and dominate game two, that would change the momentum. Uh, the Rockies will be the only thing going on in town this week. <laughs> well, I mean, that is in town. They'll, they'll have uh, Wednesday to themselves. Nothing on Wednesday except for the uh, except for the Rockies. That might be the day to go to a Rockies game. Uh, when the opposing coach indirectly questions the Nuggets' motivation, it's pretty clear to see the lack of their effort. Well, it's not just him, and he wasn't trying to be mean about it, but Malone basically said the same thing. I know it's Jamal, but if he's hurt, don't put him out there. We say that all the time in football. Free Reggie. There were so many times this year that we were questioning Reggie even, you know, being out there at all. He was fantastic. He was great. On Saturday night. Good morning, DMAC. Have a great week. Go T Wolves. You know, Michael, I, I love you. And uh, take the journey, it would change your life. Well, well, I do love Michael. Like, Michael, uh, Michael will root for the opponent, but he loves our sponsors. Ed Prather, man of the year. So I can't hate Michael, but this, this just stings a little bit more today. It does. Brent, good morning to you. Great to see you, my friend. Wesley, good morning. Game day. Let's go. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Steven, morning, DMAC. I'm pretty sure any sports questions I have, you're going to answer, so I'm going to pump up one of your sponsors. Journey Zatar on chicken wings and salads is no cap, as the kids would say. And look at the love you're getting. I love it. Sam, hey, Darren. Hey, Sam, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning to you, my friends. Avstars is going to be must-watch TV. It's going to be great. And I, I'm i taking Avs in six. I'm respectful to the stars. I think the speed and uh, dynamism of the Avs, plus what the stars just had to do to get there is going to burn them out. I really do believe that. So I'm, I'm, I think starting in Dallas is fine. The Avs during their 2022 run um, played great on the road. 
the abs are rested and ready to go. They had a very vigorous practice on Saturday. They're going five on five, five on five. Five on five practices are unusual. That means they're healthy, they're good to go. Um, Bednar wanted to have five on five practices early this year. There are too many injured guys. I know it's off topic, but you shed some light on Elway Manning beef. I heard when they're both at Dove Valley, they're always on separate sides of the complex, avoiding each other. Uh, I don't know about that. I think they get along fine. I don't know if they're best friends or anything. And I think John lives more in California than anywhere else. Uh, and and I've only, I've only seen them. Well, that's not true. I've seen them on the field before. I mean, one of the most um, no, noticeable times during training camp when new ownership had just taken over. And that is actually true. Manning was on one field. Elway was on another. That was a little weird. But I, I think they get, I don't know if there's beef there. I have no information on that whatsoever. Uh, Nuggets look tired and slow in game one. All right. Uh, bring back the Lakers. There you go. Well, they already fired their coach. The defense played by the Timberwolves and the insults of the game of basketball. Reminds me of Belichick's approach. If you abuse the rules all the time, much more is allowed. Talking about the fouling. I gotcha. Uh, Michael, you ain't lying. Motivation. One is not enough. Solidify your place in history. Do something no one has done before. Get hungry. And Murray needs to get focused. Sink shots and be relied on for 24 to 34 points a game. He has to because the formula that worked last year and all season. Well, like I said earlier, um, you can't win without him, and you're not going to try to win without him. Both those things are true. So we'll see, but Malone was putting it on the effort on a bunch of other guys too. It wasn't just <laughs> Reggie is on fire with motivation, not. Uh, I Listen, I'm not going to bang on Reggie, though. I mean, it just is what it is. Listen, as a fan, we're always motivated, right? We always want our team to kick ass. It's, you know, we're not being drugged through. Minnesota's season, Got you got to remember this. By May last year, by May last year, Minnesota's season was done. The Nuggets played two extra months compared to the Timberwolves last year. I'm not making excuses, but this is why it's so hard to repeat. I was speaking to a very, I'll protect his name, but a very seasoned muggle for the Nuggets. And what he said to me is, listen, I'm pretty happy already. They won a championship last year. Like, I feel like, eh, you know, it was great. The worst thing that can happen is the Nuggets, you know, are still champions from last year. It you you do realize though the window with Jokic won't be forever. We all know that. And they know it too. They do. So it'll be fascinating to see what happens um when they come out. Uh basketball by far has the most repeat champions. Well, that is a great point. Not saying the Nuggets will, just saying it has the most repeaters. It makes sense because it just takes fewer players, period, to have a championship team. And once you build that championship core, here you go. But Minnesota is scary. I was scared about them in the beginning. I wasn't scared by the Lakers. The Lakers were a crap team. Minnesota is not a crap team. I really do believe these are the two best teams in the NBA playing right here, right now. I know it's Jamal, but if he's hurt, don't put him out there. We say that all the time in football free Reggie, and I'm caught up to everything. here. Okay. Uh, thank you, Brent. I'm pretty sure the T-Wolves aren't using smack talk in the offseason as their motivation. It's hard to keep the same chip on your shoulder at all times. I'll tell you this. You get fired or somebody does you wrong. 
I have a chip the size of uh, Mount Elbert on my shoulder right now. Damn right I do. So, but that wasn't always the case. When you're used to winning or just doing, you know, kind of rinse and repeat. It's it's sometimes hard to generate that motivation. Not now, though. Not for me, at least. Kill you with that truth. Now, I can't wait to jump on this day like no other. That's for sure. 9 a.m. chuckle at pain with Nate and chat. Noon to 3, Columbus, Hastings, and DMAC. Going to be an awesome show as we dig into this um, Nuggets team. The Avs know their schedule. And um, football, football, football. We'll figure that out as we go. We have rookie minicamp actually coming up next weekend. The Rocks, I don't know. I mean, they did break that streak, which was cool. Um, but we're locked and loaded. We'll be out at Avalanche practice. There's a shoot around for the Wolves. The Nuggets don't really do shoot arounds, but the Wolves are having one. We'll be covering everything that you can imagine right here and kill you with truth. Thank you to Journey Spice Company. Thank you to Ed Prather. We're back at it at 9 a.m.